Well, hello everybody. I'm back to play some seven years today. The sun's shining, it's a lovely day in Gates out here. So I thought I'd play my 78 records and while I was doing it, I thought I might as well record a, a session for you. Because it's been a long time since we did it. In fact, I don't think I've done it since Christmas. No. Anyway, I've bought a few more 78s and I'm going to play a, a sort of a wide range of genres. And uh, basically this one's from 1950s and stressed late 40s. So probably uh, would be a modern uh, would be a modern 78 records uh, session really. So we'll start off with a little bit of uh, original gospel harmony with uh, the King Sacred Quartet, I think they're called. Yeah, King Sacred Quartet and it's uh, Johnny and Jack who are a duo, like a brotherly duo, their harmonies and stuff, and uh, expanded with two of us in the band and uh, it's a lovely little tune called uh, I heard my name on the radio, so that would be a nice start of this session. <laughs> That seemed to suit the sunshine. Lovely little bit of old timey yeah, country with a uh, bit of gospel harmonies here. So that's on the King label. Um, there's a fairly uh, average label. And on the same label is this tune, which is Red Bull and Natchez, Mississippi, um, by Wayne Rainey. And Wayne Rainey was a harmonica king of the country uh, style there uh, music. And um, this features a Delmo Brothers who we met uh, and recorded his most classic uh, songs with. So it's a great little tune. And um, Wayne Rooney uh, was a travelling musician since he was 13 years old. And he toured with quite a lot of people, including uh, Hank Williams and Lefty Frizzell and all the big uh, names of the time, because uh, he was so good. 
Right, so on the new machine, if uh, casual observers might notice that we've got a bit of uh, scaffolding outside today and uh, it's been here for a while because it uh, had a leaky roof. Oh dear. Anyway, it's here, we in Rainy. Express. Right. Oh, me, um, me new record player's playing well in it. That was at uh, Wayne Rainey with the Delmo Brothers in uh, Red Bull and Naturalist, Mississippi. Uh, they had uh, quite a lot of hits there, uh, they, they did. Uh, kind of about seven or eight or nine really classical tunes like that's, that's marvellous. That just made my afternoon, that has. Uh, I'm glad I've started playing these. Yeah. The next one in line, I'm going to play 12 tunes, so the next one in line I picked up was uh, an old Don Gibson uh, 78 and uh, it was released in 1957 and uh, the A side was All Lonesome Me, which is a big hit, but the B side was called I Can't Stop Loving You, which was a massive, massive hit for Ray Charles. Well, this is the original and it came out as a B side, that's amazing. I can't stop loving you. Yeah. What a great tune it is as well. It's been recorded about a thousand times, I, I believe. Sun's shining, the washing's out, the music's playing. God blame me. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee in a minute.
Me coffee yet? That was a bit quick. Yeah, uh, where we go? Don with Don Gibson, and uh, I can't stop loving you. That's a beautiful song, isn't it? Um, right. Uh, you know what? These these when I did these seventy eight programs uh, during lockdown, I had everything arranged. I had loads of uh, time to do it, and now I just kind of neglected it. So. I was coming out of a film called Monsters, which is a great film, Japanese film, uh, about a month ago and Bernie phoned us up and she said she's seen some 78s in a um, old charity shop in Gateshead and uh, anyway, Bebop Alula by Gene Vincent was in it and it's actually an American uh, capital uh, label as well. So I think it must have been a hit in uh, UK to actually have, have a 78 in Gateshead. Um, but it was made popular with the Girl Can't Help It film. If, well, I wasn't born then, but you know, I can remember that's, that was the biggie with it. And I think it was his first hit anyway. It's my favourite Gene Vincent song, so uh, I haven't played this. I hope it's not too scratchy. Uh, I hope it isn't. Anyway, a bit of Gene Vincent on a sunny summer afternoon. Well, be Luna, she's not a I don't mean 
Here we'll go Jean. Turn you off a little bit. So I was lucky enough to see the Blue Caps uh, in Newcastle. They played, they played in the 80s in Newcastle, early 80s uh, Blue Caps. Uh, it was a brilliant gig down there. I think it was a Dingle's had a place in Newcastle then. Right, moving on, there's still a little bit more rock and roll, then we'll go into more ethnic music and uh, maybe a little bit of Calypso. Uh, so, this is on the downbeat label, and uh, the, the connection to the next uh, genre of music is uh, this was this this record was uh, made in J Jamaica. This was crazy, really, because it came out on the Aladdin label, which is an American label, anyway. Is by a guy called Thurston Harris and it's called uh, Little Bitty Pretty One. Yeah. I believe this was a million seller too. Quite why? Well, quite why I've got a uh, recording from Jamaica. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember how I got this song. This uh, 78 from an auction, I guess. <laughs> that record was a little bit of pretty one it was on a, a, a wrist on Atlantic no no on Aladdin yeah so I got a um, I got a batch of records from a guy called Darius over in Canada um, well, just a few months ago now they were going for like one and two pounds so I got some um, Calypso uh, 78s just out of luck really and um, I'm going to play two or three of them. Starting with this is a little medley by uh, uh, the Jamaican Calypsonians with their uh, Lord Tickler. And it's on a Calypso label, but I'll be honest with you, I think it's more meant to. I think it's meant to was the music that came before Calypso music, so it was sort of from the 40s. And it was a little bit more contrived, really. Anyway, this is, I'll, I'll play, I'll play the, the medley for you. It's real sunshine music. It's real summer sunshine music. So. Oh. Bye. 
So well meant though, and uh, we're sticking with that. It's uh, Jamaican Calypsonians with Lord Tickler. Wow, great man! And uh, I've still got I've got another Jamaican uh, Calypsonians uh, seventy eight here, and it's on the Times Records, and that's a uh, English label, unbelievable, made in England. And uh, I'm going to put uh, Lord Flea. He's singing Brown Skill Girl, and uh, the tune was. Uh, it's a, it's a, it was originally 1947, but this one's from 52. And I've heard uh, the likes of Bluesman Catfish uh, keep doing a version of this. And um, Brendan Cook, I think, did only one of his albums as well. And um, so it's a, uh, it's a well-used tune. It's a, it's a great tune anyway. Um, but I'm going to put it on the uh, new record player because it's right in the middle of the, it's like an EP sort of thing, this. So I'll try and get it right in the middle. I'm just going to go. In a sailing boat, and in my short compound, no better than me. It's like an EP that's 78, so it's only got a short version of Brown Skin Girl on. Anyway, good enough. And carrying on with our K 
calypsos and uh, Jamaican music. I've got a really weird tune called The Naughty Little Flea. It's, it's on from the, the Flea in there. It's by Reynolds Calypso Clippers. And um, Bernie was listening to a uh, compilation CD that she got off Brian in there. Uh, and this was on it and uh, amazingly enough when I when I got a list of the uh, Darry Silver in Canada of all all the Calypso stuff he was selling, uh, it was on it. So it's uh, it's kinda she loved it for the most bizarre lyrics I ever hear. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I've got it as well. She was amazed when I got this like uh, the naughty little flea. I don't make I'm not used to. like the Jolly Boys to me. The, the Jolly Boys are still gone but we, we booked the Jolly Boys back in the oh, might have been probably 1990, maybe 89, 1991. We booked the Jolly Boys uh, who had never been out of Jamaica and they came and played down the Bridge Hotel and uh, yeah it was a night man it was amazing and they played like banjo and like that that uh, box uh, box drum thing a little quartet and it sounded very much like that. And then going, going back, I'll, I'll knock this off, there we go. Going back uh, in time again, we've got um, this tune was the first uh, first feature of uh, Trojan Records. So it was a f the first time any, anyone had ever seen Trojan was with this record. And it's the uh, Penny Reel by uh, the Calypso Quintet. And uh, it's got some back uh, catalogue for me because when I was about 17 um, I bought an album called Intensified. It was probably uh, 1979 and it was uh, one track on it was my favourite was called Eric, uh, Penny Reel by Eric Morris. And that's obviously 
well I didn't know it, that the scar was really a big scar combination. So this is pre this is this is where it come from. So this is from like 1951, 52 something, penny wheel. Let's put it on here. I think you're gonna love this one. from uh, what's that what, what that would be yeah that's calypso in it yeah uh, to Miranga and uh, it's only Miranga it's it was made in J Jamaica this one so it's uh, it's still it's still got the vibe and it's by the Figaro Conjunto um, band so it's Mexican <laughs> have a little bit of dance music
see. Hey, the rhythms were all over the bloody place there, weren't they? Yeah, so that was uh, that was a touch of meringue with uh, a little bit of Mexican that I do it, wasn't it? Sounded great, that. Uh, Figaro Conjunto. Yeah. yeah, I could even heard that in Texas. Yeah. So I'm obliged now, really, to play to play a little bit of New Orleans piano music uh, because last week when uh, Gets had won the FA Trophy, yeah, I know, I know the one. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still getting over it. Uh, so last week when Gets had won the FA Trophy, and I had a ticket to see Don Pipkins play his New Orleans piano down in the Green Note in London. I didn't go because all the euphoria with all the fans and all that I just wouldn't have been able to sit down and watch it I was so up in the air so I feel obliged to play New Orleans uh, piano player so I'm going to play this it's, uh, it's a 78 by uh, Smiley Lewis from the Crescent City and his uh, sex and is called T98 it's kind of like an adult nursery right really so we'll stick that on sound for a lazy summer afternoon in Gateshead. Yeah, excellent. Well, I'm going to carry on playing my 78s uh, for another hour, I guess, but I'm going to finish off this session on uh, YouTube with a tune that was uh, recorded in New Orleans and uh, it's by Big Rock and Roll Sound by Big Rock and Roll Blues Shouter. Bluesy Rock and Roll and it's by it's on Atlantic Lil and it's by Big Joe Turner and it's called Honey Hush. Thank you for watching. Uh, whoops, oh, I forgot. Uh, uh, Jump the Club uh, book. Still there. Still, I've got about 20 left if anyone wants to buy one. It's, just, it's got loads of good feedback and um, you, can, you can buy it off the Jump Not Club website. www. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll be able to find it. Very <laughs> 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 good. <laughs> <Right. laughs> 